So yeah, weird shit's been going on, like, not good, negative, targeted individual kind of shit. Well, um, in the first place, uh, like, got right up to the point where I thought I was going to get an apartment, I thought it was a damn sure thing, and then that turned out not to be happening. And then I like, I don't know, I get some, this dude that I used to hang out with for years, man, was like my best friend for years. And like, I guess I drunk messaged him on Facebook at some point or something, and he like called me with Messenger, which I didn't even know I had on the phone at the time. I thought I deleted Facebook. <laughs> and we sort of hung out couple of days and now apparently his girlfriend's like going psychotic or whatever because she apparently hates my guts for some fucking reason for something from like 15 fucking years ago or something I don't know or she's trying to blame me for shit that he did you know whatever the fuck it is I don't know what the deal is but like yeah she was She's not happy. She dumped, like, apparently she dumped, like, a crap ton of all his booze down the drain or something. He said it was $250 worth of booze or something. She just dumped the fuck out. Like, <laughs> she's starting to burn his clothes and shit or whatever. Or I don't know what all she's starting to burn. I don't know. She's fucking, dude. She was calling him so often, it would be avoiding, that like, I was about to say, and she's gonna, you know, like, I just knew it was gonna happen, he's got this like, you know, da -da 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 you know, the Terminator soundtrack, fucking George Thurgood, right, ringtone, and like, it was happening so often, and so quickly that, I didn't, like, after the last time he ignored it, right, I started to say, in, in five, four, three, two, one, is what I was going to say, but I didn't even have time to finish the word in, I got to, like, eh, and it <laughs> rang again, <laughs> like, god damn. It went crazy. I don't know, man. Like, I wanted to have, you know, uh, some sort of woman have a long term relationship would be nice, I thought. But, like, witnessing the kind of shit that he had to deal with kind of fucking reminded me why I don't, you know? Because. Chicks would pull that shit with me, you know, kind of, and I would end up breaking up with them. Actually, there's some chicks I've broken up with that now I'm like, God oh, damn, that was stupid. I broke up with a chick that looked like a fucking supermodel. 19, fucking super tight body. Just beautiful. Like, she didn't even wear makeup. If she wore makeup, she would give people heart attacks. She, she would give men heart attacks without makeup. That's how hot she was. Probably still is. Probably, yeah, I would, I, I, I think she is. I think I might have found a while back, like, when I tried to find her and try to get hold of her. I think she's, I think she's, like, married now or something. And still fucking hot. Yeah. God, I was like 27 at the time, now I'm like 39, so, 12 years older than me, so she'd be like 31 or something now, <laughs> Rich.
Rachel. Seriously. Hottest chick I ever fucking dated, dude. With her for like a couple of months. But you know, close quarters, man. Like she stayed with me at my house in the in my room, you know. And when you're in close quarters, like it's it, it gets rough, man, because you can't get away. You don't have. I mean, I think to be with anyone, any woman or something, like you gotta have like a house or something. I don't know how people stand it, like being in like a camp. I guess if you're in a camp trailer, you can at least, like, if they're in the bedroom, you can walk out to the living room or the kitchen, I suppose. And if they're in the kitchen or the living room, you can go to the bedroom or something. So you can have, like, these little moments of, like, peace, kind of, when you just need to, like, not constantly be bombarded by their fucking attention, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I would like to have a real, you know, decent relationship with a woman, but, you know, people, you gotta, have, I mean, I, I gotta have my space sometimes, though, you know? I think I'd go fucking nuts having somebody around, like, all the fucking time. I mean, Rachel, that, that was, oh my god. Well, what happened right with her, I actually broke up with her. I was so fucking cocky back then, dude. You know? <laughs> she just, she pissed me off. She did some, she like wanted me to buy her beer and shit. And then I was like, I knew the fucking store. I was like, the stores are closed. And she's just insisting on it. After she was just so fucked up because she's like having a conversation, two-way conversation with the garbage can. I'm like, you don't need any more. <laughs> yes, I do. And, like, she got me to drive when I shouldn't have been driving. I was like, oh, I shouldn't be driving anyways, you know, but I did. Because she was fucking hot. She was being annoying, and she was fucking very insistent. So, like, fucking drove her. Drove her to the store that was closed, as I knew it was, because I fucking told her so in the first place. I'm like, see, it's fucking closed. You know? <laughs> and then she's, like, trying to get me to take her somewhere else. And I was like, uh, yeah, okay. And I just bolted her, started heading straight back home. On back road, you know? I was like, yeah, we're almost there. And she fucking got wise to it. She grabbed the steering wheel when we are going like 55 miles an hour or something. Almost like I had to fucking react very quickly. She grabbed the steering wheel, tried to jerk us into a ditch. And she grabs the shifter and like fucking when we're and like puts it in park or something. Like she just pushes and pulls it back. Like Jesus Christ, the fucking thing was my car was like smoking. Almost ended up in a ditch if I hadn't grabbed the steering wheel and hit the brakes fast. If I hadn't been real quick, man, we would have been, you know, wrecked. So she pissed me the fuck off. And then she starts to go, she starts running around talking shit about me to, like, neighbors. and like, No, wait, first she, she pulled out her phone, right? Like, I'm going to call the police because he won't, he won't get me beer. So they take her fucking phone and take the battery out of it and toss it in the fucking back. <laughs> you know? And then she's going around bitching to the fucking neighbors and sh Like, my god. And then, later on, I thought we were starting to make up and things were going to be okay. But she's like, was insistent that I eat her pussy before fucking her, right? And that was just kind of like, she would do that a lot of the times, like, eat me up. And I would do it, you know. But, like, in this instance, I was pissed off at her, you know. I should not have been pissed off about that. I don't know why, but 
No, it was fucking goddamn. That was the best fucking pussy I ever fucking had, dude. I'm telling you, pretty much. Tightest, sweetest, like, and she was like a vegetarian, ate super healthy and stuff. Like, she's like one of the. I'm talking like literally shit don't stink kind of thing, you know. So clean. No, no, like, oh, God, she was hot, so hot. Oh, damn it. <laughs> and she was pretty cool, too, you know. She, she was actually one of the, like, the closest I've ever been to, like, having a woman that actually kind of got it. You know, as far as what's going on in the world and, like, philosophical, you know, belief systems and, like, what she thought of, like, she knew that it was all bullshit. Like, she was fucking pretty goddamn cool, man. But she was getting, like, kind of sidetracked on a dark path, though. She's all wanting to get her Blavatsky and shit. I'm like, no, you don't need no fucking Blavatsky. Stay away from the Lucius Trust shit, man. You're not you. <laughs> but she, she, uh. She's all into sun gaze. She was so fucking cool, man. Coolest fucking chick. Well, one of the coolest chicks I ever been with. I was with this other chick. She's a big girl, but. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. But I didn't stick it out and get in a relationship with her because I was kind of intimidated by, you know, her family. And she was, uh, I won't mention the biker gang, but her dad was like the leader of this very scary fucking outlaw biker gang. Yeah. And he's like fucking like seven foot something big fucking and got huge brothers and like all these and like bikers hanging around big fields of let's call them tomatoes big giant fields of tomatoes that they wanted my help to trim their tomatoes you know what I'm saying <laughs> I was like I should probably not get myself involved with this at the time, especially, you know, it's not a good time for me to be involved with that shit, you know, she was fucking cool, oh, no, yeah, she, she was one of the coolest chicks I, I ever, like, talked to, kind of, you know, she was smart, I like smart chicks, man, smart, funny, just totally fucking cool, great taste in music, and literature, poet, like, very cool. Been with a couple of biker chicks that were pretty connected at the upper echelon. Of a couple different clubs. I don't know how the fuck that ended up happening, but it did, you know? Just sort of, you know, random. I was like, I should probably not, you know, continue on with this. Because it's like, I don't want to get fucking wrapped up in whatever shit they're, down, they're into, you know? I need to... Try to keep my fucking nose clean, you know? Don't need to be getting dragged into whatever shit they're doing, you know? Not good. Best to avoid, you know? I mean, either I'd end up all fucking affiliated potentially get my ass in trouble or I'd end up getting the shit
shit beat out of me or fucking worse, you know, if they got, if they didn't like me or some shit, you know, I don't fucking want to deal with either, either one of those things, you know. I don't want to fucking get with the club, man. Nah. I get that, like, connections and be like power and all that kind of shit. I don't, I don't, I don't want to fucking. I just want to stay the fuck out of trouble, keep my nose clean, and try to have a fucking life, man. But I don't know if that's even possible, you know? It's too fucking expensive. Everything's too fucking expensive. I'm not even going to have a fucking apartment now. I got to get a camper van. And I got to have some seriously good luck about fucking finding one that's not a piece of shit. That doesn't cost a fucking arm and a leg. And then I'll have to sell my fucking sweet car that I have. Pray to God that the van will be good enough to be a daily driver and not break down on me. Because, like, I need somewhere to sleep, you know, that doesn't cost me fucking thousands of dollars every month to do this shit, you know? My dad is such a fucking prick, man. I'll just get a job, just get a job. Sure, I'll just start making 60 grand so I can get approved for, like, any apartment, which basically requires you to make that much to even get approved for anything. I thought I was fucking, I thought it was a fucking done deal. I thought I was going to get an apartment. When I got that fucking call at the store, I was like, yay. Finally, I'm going to get the keys now, I thought, you know. Answer the phone, and I'm like, well, I guess you don't have a job right now. I guess you don't do that now. Yeah. He's like, no, I, I, I don't. I'm just pretend like I don't have fucking numerous fucking disabling psychological conditions and whatnot. Not to mention being a fucking targeted individual. Shit gets crazy. Nathan, man, he's even, like, he's heavier targeted than I am, but he's, I don't think he even realizes it, man. He just fucking, he'll just go out there and, like, put himself in situations and get him over it. Like, I'm more of a fucking mind to just hide in my fucking cave and, like, not put myself in situations that are fucking stupid, you know? <laughs> Generally speaking, even if I'm drinking, man, I, I'm generally, usually smart enough to, like, follow my, like, intuition to say, fuck that, you know, avoid everything, avoid everything, avoid everything, yeah, <laughs> oh, some shit's going down, let's avoid it, that's what I do, I avoid shit. Hide in my cave, basically. Whatever cave I have, whatever thing I have that can be my cave, I stay there and mind my own fucking... I don't think I'm going to be able to do that, though. You know, even if with a fucking van, I guess. At least I can fucking do that. But, like, I can't guarantee that whatever van I get is not going to be some piece of shit that's going to fucking give me a bunch of trouble, you know? I, I, my car that I have right now is like this super reliable, amazing, fucking awesome car. And I think, like, I'm going to have to sell that shit. You know? But that's that should be tricky too, man, because, like, I get a van and I still got my car, right? And I got nowhere to park unless I'm paying out the ass to continue being at the fucking hotel room. And I can't drive two vehicles at once myself. So I have to, like, get my mom's husband, if he's willing to, to fucking, like, drive one of the vehicles sometime. Or, or I'll have to drive one somewhere and then take a long-ass walk on my busted foot. To walk back to the other one. Like. 
I know if I park it in some parking lot somewhere, liable to get fucking towed or something, you know? So that's not good. I don't know. It could take a month or two to get it sold if I'm trying to get anywhere near what the fuck it's actually worth. You know? A month or two, I could be goddamn near broke or something. Let's play that shit. I should be able to get like six grand for the fucking car, I think. Could be a bit less, but I got it for like significantly less than what it's worth. I think it honestly it could almost be worth eight grand. It's it's fucking I don't know. That's I've seen them go for that much, but that I don't know. It's got a couple of issues now that are weren't there when I got it. Like. People have backed into the sun bitch like three fucking times at least while I've been at the motel. And it's got a couple of new scratches because dumb shits walk past it and have something on them or something. Little cause little scratches here and there and things like that. And the fucking car wash fucks the paint job up because, but like, I go through the car wash because the sun bitch just collects all this dust, especially these, they fucking will like, oh, we're going to clean our parking lot now, and what that means, another, you know, essentially what that means is that they're going to fucking take all the dirt off the parking lot and put it directly on my fucking car that I just washed, is what that means. <laughs> and the birds like to target it. The bees are super infatuated with the fucking thing, too, man. The goddamn bees will land on the fucking thing and try to come in my window all the fucking time because I have the window cracked. It's like, fuck off, bee. <laughs> Just try to slap them out. Driving down the street, this fucking bee, get out. And they just, like, slap them. Fuck out the window. You know? Ah. Oh. He really likes my car for some reason. Bees dig it, you know. Especially when it's all clean and shit. All clean and shiny, they like to get on there and. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Wait, what am I doing? I was gonna see if this shit works yet. And shall see. Huh. Nope. That didn't work. Right then. I'm trying to see if a USB works in the fucking TV. Apparently it doesn't like my USB drives. I was, I was thinking of searching the USB drives to see if I had movies on one. You know? Oh. <sighs> Everything gets crazy as fuck around, and I have all these weird signs all the fucking time, you know, like, synchronicity, or whatever the hell people like to call it, just weird shit all the fucking time, weird shit followed by more weird shit followed by more weird shit. Shit gets intense around me, man. They be fucking intense around me. <laughs> Sounds like that dude's gonna possibly break up with some girlfriend that he's been with for like 15 years or something. Like, a couple of days into hanging out with me all of a sudden. Maybe. Jesus. Shit gets crazy, man. 
I don't know, I haven't even begun to, like, describe the kind of weirdness that fucking happens around me. And it seems like I kind of have some guardian angel or something, like, watching my ass, too, though. Because I've had things, people try to... I'm Things is actually a more appropriate description of what the fuck they are, but... They are in human skin, though. And people try to kill me. Many, many times. Various ways. <sighs> Lately, it was like... Fucking kamikaze mission in a car kind of shit, you know? Last few times. <sighs> That I've been poisoned, of course, as well, you know. Various different types of poison. But I seem to be able to survive through it and flesh it out, you know. I've been pretty hurt at times, but... Anyways, I guess I'll get off here and put my fucking ring here.